Hello guys, this is Andrew, and this is another demo video. It's been maybe a little bit over a week since the last video, and in that last video, basically, I had a project where I had a webcam connected to the Zebra board, and then the Zebra board would display those frames as best as possible to a VGA display. Right now I'm actually loading up a new application, everything's actually pre-installed onto the, the Flash, so it takes a minute, but I have it set up such that the application starts immediately after the system boots up. But in that last video, um, essentially all it was the camera getting uh, just getting frames from the camera and then taking said frames and then displaying them on the VGA display. If you real if you uh, remember from the last video, that last video the the system didn't work that well. There was a lot of lag plus the actual size of the frame didn't fill the screen. In this particular project, I do a bit more. I actually implemented a few different filter systems. One filter is a uh, Sobel filter. Another filter is the uh, Kenny Edge detection filter. Another one is uh, a Harris Corner detection filter. And another one is just simply making the color display become uh, gray. But the biggest improvement, in addition to those different filters being implemented, is the fact that everything runs a lot smoother. So. You know, this is the the video as you can see. I'm moving around the webcam. You can see the the VGA display reflecting what the webcam is looking at. And here's me holding the camera. Nice little cameo appearance there. But uh, interesting improvement to get this uh, better performance. I basically just reduced like the resolution from the camera uh, down to a pretty low resolution, and then I scaled it up using. Uh, Xilinx HLS video video uh, class basically using HLS to take advantage of the, the, the FPGA resizing on the Linux kernel was pretty damn slow so I was pretty much forced to use HLS video to make it run more smoothly but if you look closely the resolution is actually kind of bad but it works in real time so I'm actually hoping in, a, in another project to use a uh, HD camera. I've seen a, uh, a video online on, of somebody else using the Zybo. I forgot her name, but I believe she works at Digilent. But she had a sample project where uh, she had a HD com camera connected to the Zybo and she was able to get HD video, I presume, and do processing over the said video and then display those frames on a VGA display. So. Just to kind of further demonstrate this project, I'm going to aim this camera in a, let's see, I'm going to aim it, it's lit, I'm going to aim it at my uh, Xbox controller there. So this project can do a few different things. Like I said before, you know, I can uh, convert it to a grayscale image, so by using the switches here, one thing you can do. The next filter is just a simple Sobel filter in uh, both the X and Y direction. So, as most of you guys probably know, Sobel filter, you can use it for detecting the border. And again, I'm just using the uh, OpenCV functions to do this. I didn't actually implement this directly, but anybody can go online and find the, the filter, uh, the filter mask to actually do this if they wanted to, but it's much easier just using the function. Next we have uh, Harris detection, so the big white blotches there is like the quarters of the image. And then finally, we have the uh, the candy edge detection. So this is, I believe this is based, I remember learning the algorithm once before, but this is entirely, this is basically based off the Sobel operation, I believe. I don't remember exactly, but the point of this project is just showing that I had these filters implemented and they work. Uh, most of these filters are actually done in software and uh, I ran into this issue where I was actually originally trying to do this using uh, HLS, but I couldn't figure out how to implement multiple streams, multiple streams that can be selected in a single HLS core. So I'm guessing what I have to do is probably create multiple uh, HLS cores to make that work, which is something that I'll try to figure out in another project. I might have to use uh, the AXI stream interconnect, that way I don't have to implement multiple like VDMAs. One of the one of the most important things in this project was like learning how to use uh, the AXI uh, video direct memory access or the VDMA for short. 
Another interesting about this project was I learned how to use uh, the Linux generic user space IO driver, which is a lot better than what I was doing before. Before I was just simply doing a memory map to the, the, the mem file in the Linux, uh, I think it's in the Linux device directory, DEV, but using the generic UIO driver, I'm able to use interrupts, which makes things a lot easier. But I'm not going to try to show my uh, board design in the video. It always looks pretty crappy. What I'm planning to do in the future is, like I said before, try to get myself a holder for the camera. But in addition to that, I'm going to try to get software that I can use to capture directly from the, the computer screen and then do some minor uh, video editing just so I can kind of increase the quality of these videos. But that's basically it. Uh, thanks to those who took the time to watch this video. Thank you and have a nice day.